Knicks lose 101-89, they lose game five, they lose the series to the Hawks 4-1. Trey Young, nobody could stop him all series. The Knicks came out, tie game in the first quarter. Second quarter, the Hawks extended their lead to five. In the third quarter, we just had no ball movement. Guys are standing around, not enough scoring to keep up with the Hawks, who honestly did not have a great offensive game. Trey Young did have 35 points, but he went 10 for 28. He, he didn't really have his most efficient game. But in the end, just not enough scoring, not enough ball movement, uh, not enough sustainable pressure to get the crowd going. It's a, it's a lost playoff series, but not a lost season at all. Nobody thought the Knicks would be in the playoffs, let alone the fourth seed. And we have to salute the Big 15. We have to give each other the perspective because this season, this 2020-2021 season, changed the trajectory, fast-tracked the trajectory of this franchise forever. Forever, You cannot take that away from them. So as difficult as a series this was to watch from game three, four, and five, not really competitive games, we have the tools. Leon Rose has assets to work with. We have a young franchise. We have R.J. Barrett, Emmanuel Quickly. We have Obi Toppin. We have a lot of cap space. We have a lot of maneuverability. So it's a bright future here at Madison Square Garden. But it does smell like airy and toxic Knicks fans right now. Ah. What's your perspective right now leaving the stadium, losing the series 4-1? All right, obviously I'm hurt, right? I wanted this job, I wanted to push it back to the I wanted to protect the garden, but at the end of the day, I'm happy with this team. We put in everything on the floor, and eventually the Hawks were just better than us, right? right. We got to look in the mirror and say the Hawks are better than us. I'm happy with this team. Everyone gave it their all. We're only going off from here. What's your message to Julius Randle? Yo, keep your head up, bro. Keep your head up. This city still has you. Go listen to all the noise. We're going to only go better, get better from here. We didn't. Ex nobody expected this already from this season. You already heard the fans in the building. We're cheering you all the way to the last whistle. No booze, nothing stupid. Let's go. Next year we bring in the fans. We got we got Omni fans in the building. Big ready to go, baby. Shout out to the whole fucking Knicks fan TV. CP Papa Left. Everybody CK2K. Shout out to Ashley Nicole Morse. We appreciate y'all. At the end of the day, you gotta look at it like this. They had us winning 20 games this season. I'm not mad. We got assets. We got draft picks. You know what I'm saying? We 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 fourth seed in the playoffs. Nobody expected this. You know what I'm saying? Papa Left mix set. You know what I'm saying? In the fucking building. Appreciate. You, but at the end of the day, we be all right, bro. We be all right. We got cap space. You're hey, gonna be there. You sorry, know what I'm sorry. So you guys are worried about that. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Knicks Man TV. Salute CP, Papa Left, Ashley the Cold Moss, all the mods in the building. You already know, Big 15. We here. Yo, shout out to Knicks Omni fan. We here, baby. Shout out to the whole Knicks crew. Yeah. We family. Yeah, baby. Knicks set, yeah. Knicks set. Yeah, we be all right. All right any, are there any uh, positions that you want to take care of next year? What, what positions? Uh, I, 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 I love, I love, I, I, I love Reggie Bullock. You gotta understand, Reggie Bullock lost family members. So he's coming through mentally, he's really not there yet. So it took him a half a season to get in. But the playoffs, I feel like he didn't show up. I want to take care of the three and the one. Make the call for Lonzo Ball, baby. Let's do it, baby. Make the call. Julius, a lot, a lot of flack on him. Listen, Julius did his thing. He, he bought us here. Right. I'm tired of all the Julius Randle hate. Right. You know what I'm saying? He's going to get better. First playoff series, he's going to get better. And I, I think coaching-wise, I think we got to be a little bit better on the fly. Uh, he, Tim's got our coach. He, Tim's got our I coach. I didn't expect that. I did not expect that. We did that. not expect that. He got our coach. He, let, let me be fair to Tibbs right now. I the really adjustment in a double team well. comes from playing basketball. Guys have to move without the ball. And when guys are just watching each other getting double teamed, and you're letting people just stand there Absolutely. and not collapsing the double Absolutely. team. Absolutely. That's difficult, yeah. man. We need shooters. We need shooters. I think quickly should have got more playing time. Right. I think they should have mixed up uh, four and five, Toppin and Randall with the four and five. Make Capella play defense. Make him play defense. You know, but at the end of the day, like I said, nobody, nobody expected us to be here. They wanted 20 games. But Angel, real quick to my man's right here. Reactions on the season. Reactions on the season. Honestly, you can't be mad. We was never supposed to be here. I remember Bleacher Report had us going what? 21 wins on the season. Something crazy like that. It's tough. I feel like Tibbs didn't make adjustments when he needed to. But 
I mean, we overachieved at the end of the day. You can't be mad at that. Message, what do you remember most about this season? Julius Randle, bro. Like, I, I, despite how he played in the postseason, his advance from last season to this season, un, un, no one saw that coming, bro. From being somebody that we were clowning, booing, Trey Julius. I would just say, look where we are, right now. You know, look where we are. And I hate how everybody's like, oh, Trey Julius, he's a bum. We wouldn't be here without Julius. Right. Without, 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 without Julius. Season, what do you remember most about the 2020, 2021 Knicks? This 2020, 2021 Knicks were full of dreams, full of hope, and they delivered. Even though we lost, this is chapter one. The story of the, the whole story is yet to be written. I don't want to hear any, I don't want to hear any Randall slander. I don't want to hear any Tib slander. I don't want to hear any slander at all. This team, we were ranked 28th in the league by ESPN and we, we're still fucking here. We're still here. We're still here. Let's go next. Hey, what do you remember most? What are you going to remember most looking back in a week, two weeks? Three weeks, what are you gonna think about this season? When when all this tough sting of a loss, Trey Young hitting threes, putting his finger up, when all that nonsense is gone, what are you gonna think about this season? The miss the miss opportunity. I can name a few of them. When Mitchell Robinson got hurt, we should have went and got Andre We should have got back up for that side. We actually got four dead rosters. That's insane. That's insane. That's good they point. don't play at all. This is what happens when you take someone like Tom Thibodeau, who was done, and then the cronies will come in. He didn't have the best coach available, he had the best friend available. You know what I'm saying? That's for real. He's not the best coach. Look at the defensive team. How you don't ever put Frank on him all, all game, from game one? I never saw a defensive-minded coach who never took his, who took his best deal with the playing baseball series. How do you win? How do you win like that? Knicks run New York. Shout out to the Atlanta Hawks. No, shut up, I'm respectfully. I ain't saying F. Trey Young. He was in his bag, he was in his bag. We came all the way from Atlanta. Enjoy New York, Hold on, come here, come here. Shout out. I want to speak to true Atlantians. Okay, I went to the games, game three, game four. Yes, sir. But forget about me traveling down there and you traveling up here, because clearly you're a diehard. What would you say about the Atlanta Hawks fan base? Describe the Atlanta Hawks fan base. I sense you're lonely in the diehard department. And I'm saying we, we that really are, and, they, and they have to do better. You okay. know what I'm saying? As a whole, we have to do better. But we 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 here. We here. We prepare. You guys that. have a Hawks fan TV. No. All right, so you could join in Knicks Fan TV and throughout the rest of the year, since the Hawks may not have a podcast, you could just pop into Knicks Fan TV and just be like, hey, we just beat the Sixers. Let's go Hawks. Let's go. You know what? I need to do that because we're going to beat the Sixers next. Drive up the alley. <laughs> How was your experience at an NBA game in the playoffs in the Garden? Because we can find a flight directly here. The best experience ever at any sporting event? Any sporting event. Can you describe why? With like what the fans. The fans. Y'all are over the They're top. The best out of <laughs> any city. Respect, uh -huh. respect, respect, respect. You know, we, we're not we're not one player away right now, but we do have a sustainable winning culture that brewed up pretty much out of nowhere. So with that, we put that to bed. We put this season to bed. It's a tough one. Make sure that you stick with Knicks Fan TV. Yes, All of your psychotic trade offers and 2043 roster lineups that you wanted to do before a playoff game. You could talk about them from now all the way up until the draft and then all the way up until the season starting in 2021. So stay tuned to Knicks Fan TV. We're a 24-7 operation. Salute, Papa Left, live from Madison Square Garden. Salute the New York Knicks, the Big 15. We made history this year. Playoffs.